Welcome back guys, in this video we are going to discuss about how to create this nice animation effect for your react project. For this kind of animation we use the animation on scroll plugin and it's completely free to use. So in this video I am going to show you how to create this simple example and how to configure the animate on scroll plugin for your react project. So watch this video till to an end and learn how to use this plugin for your react project so without wasting your time let's get started okay I already created the react project for this uh, video you can pause this video and you can create a new react project so let me create a new component so over here like you can say main container dot js and I'll create one more CSS file for it like main container dot CSS okay so let me create the function component for this okay so RFC it's just like a react snippet you can install it from your extension if you search for react snippets you can find that plugin and this is that plugin I'm using uh, extension I'm using for react projects so you can install it and it really comes handy when you're writing react codes so here all I need to create class equals main container and import that CSS dot slash main container dot CSS make sure the name everything is same and let me use this main container in my index instead of app I'm going to use that one import main container okay and instead of this I'm going to use this and restart start your project and here we go currently that is nothing because we are going to create everything by ourselves Okay, so over here now inside this I'm just going to create a division and with a class name called box okay let's write some styles for your main container and this it's going to be used with hundred percentage and height is going to use as auto and display flex flex direction should be column and justify the content center and align item the center okay currently it shows nothing but let's create the box then you can understand what is happening so dot box width 250 pixels height 250 pixels and background color like triple five okay so now you can see this box so let's bring up this box a little bit in the center so I'll, I'll add the margin as 200 pixels top and bottom zero pixels in left and right now it's over here so why I'm adding the margin it's because Uh, let me create one more box over here and you can see like if for current viewport we can see that box in the center of the screen and the second box in the next viewport of the screen so for when you scroll up you can see only one box for over the viewport of your screen okay so let me create a few more three four five and six okay now let's make this reduce the sharp edges border radius um, 5 pixels that's good enough and box shadow like 5 pixels 15 pixels 20 pixels RGBA 0, 0, 0 black color and reduce the alpha level to 0 0.5 now that's we have this nice shadow effect over here and now let's change the color for all the six boxes for the first child and child one copy this line two three four five six and change 
the numbers 6 5 4 3 2 save the changes and now for here we'll change the background for background what I'm going to use is I'm going to use gradient color pad if you search for gradient color pad and you can find this website like our own thing dot co dot uk grade this pad this one css color gradient with grade pad it's really useful if you click this and go to the gradient gallery and choose any color you need from here so i'll choose this and click over here to copy that style copy it and then paste it in your css file do the same thing for the next gradient gallery I'll choose this one copy the color paste it do the same thing for third box background gradient gallery choose any color copy it paste it for fourth box gradient copy the style background paste it for fifth box choose any different color let me choose this one okay this good copy it background paste it and for last one I'll choose some dark color this is good copy this oops background paste it okay so now all the six boxes are done let's see how it looks this is first one second one third one fourth one fifth one and sixth one so everything is looking good so now what we need to do is for animate on scroll we are using the plugin called AOS animate on scroll library if you click it this is how it looks we are going to use this kind of plugin for our react project so let's see how to install this and we can use these kinds of animation effects in our project so these are the demos you can see which one looks how it looks like so you can see these demos and you can use which style is suitable for your division inside your project click over here and that will takes it to their official github and if you scroll down a little bit you can use it for your these styles on in your normal html project and for react you have this node package manager copy this line and open up your terminal and install it I already installed this package anyway I'm installing it one more time so this might take like few seconds or a minute so be patient until it gets done once it's done we just need to use a hook react hooks to configure this plugin what we need to do then is we need to import these AOS from the AOS packager which we installed currently then we need to use this AOS CSS so copy this and go to your main container.js and paste it over here now after this we need to initialize your AOS to initialize you need to use a hook so what I'm going to do is I'm going to destructure this and I'm going to use the hook use effect okay so if you want to learn more about this hook you can search about hooks in react you can find more informations in their official documentation go through the hook concepts over here now let's see how to use this and configure it okay I already imported the package and use effect open it open an ESX arrows function 
inside here I just need to copy this line and I need to paste it now this is all you need to do for configuring the AOS in your function component okay now what we need to do is this use effect it should not be in the top level it should be inside your function component so over here let me paste it okay otherwise it will throw the error so use effect cannot be the top level uh, some kind of error will come so paste this line over here so it will not make any problem after this then these are some setups you can initialize like what is the duration of the animation should be and how the animation should ease, ease in ease out all those things either you want to execute the animate only once or you want to keep on execute it like that okay so I just copy this my duration effect and inside here open an object first duration going to be 600 easing then once make it false because if you make it true it will execute only once at a time okay then to use the animation you just need to use it just copy this AOS animation and you can paste it inside your division then if you want to set any delay effect you can add the delay all those things so I'll copy this and I'll paste it so let me use the animation what is the first animation fade up okay fade up okay let's see whether it's working fine or not in our project see it's working good fade up it's working perfect okay so it's working good then for next one for next fade down fade right like that let's see if you scroll down at to the bottom you can see different different kinds of animations over here so I'll copy this and paste it few more times Oops. and let me change the effects instead of fade up fade left fade right then flip up then slide left slide left then slide right let's see how it looks okay good 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 everything is working so let's add some delay effect because in, it's running it so instantly so you can't monitor that animation and that's not looking good so we'll add some delay effect for every single animation so this animation should delay 0.5 seconds and sh this should wait one second 150 200 250 now let's see good good perfect perfect and perfect so now our delay effect is working good so that the user can monitor that animation very clean what kind of animation is going on so we can see that animation very clearly so you just need to spend your quality timing in your uh, animation design and how you need to flow that animation in your project and how to use the delay effects for each and every division so if you spend your quality time in that you can create a nice animation by using this plugin I hope you enjoy this video if you love this video leave a comment and like this video and share this video with your friends I'll see you in the next video bye bye take care